Today's opening begins with three Jolly Bargemen English Dark Mild Ale from Stone Angel Brewing in Winnipeg. They describe it as a silky, smooth, unpretentious session strength ale with notes of toasted hazelnut, chocolate, and coffee. Hmm. Very nice. Nice and roasty. First thing in says that it is resistance. Hmm. Hope it's not futile. Let's see what we got here. Oh, some little transistors. Oh wait, those aren't transistors. These have these have six pins. Okay. PT4115. What are these little power devices? 10 piece lot PT4115 89E SOT 89 in stock. Okay. I got 10 of them for a dollar five plus a dollar forty nine shipping. Okay then. Oh, it seems that they are actually a five pin device. But this listing is not saying what it actually does. Okay. Ah! It's an inductive step down high brightness driver for LEDs. Oh, cool. Uh, 6 to 30 volts in, 1.2 amps current. Wow. So there's what's going on inside. We have a MOSFET over here and a gate driver. We have a regulator, a couple of comparators, uh, reference, and a dimming buffer internally. All right. Oh, there we go. Some application circuits. Perfect. So what do I need to make this thing work? Uh, square wave PWM, I guess, to the dimming input. Um, okay, that is just power supply, so we can ignore everything to the left here. That's just where the power is coming from. We just need to feed it with DC. We need a sense resistor. We need a... Are you a z no, it's a shot key diode. And we need an inductor. And depending on the current that we're pulling... Uh, we'll change the inductor, I guess. Okay. So a nice low part count to be able to drive fairly big currents of LEDs. Well, that could be an interesting thing to play with. Off to a good start here. This says mobile phone adapters and converters. Okay. That may be less interesting, but we'll see. Where are you? Um, okay. Look, there's a USB-C on that side, and I can't see what that one is on this side. Um, hmm. What are you? Oh, that's what it is. Lightning type to type C adapter, charger adapter, blah, 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 phones, 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 yeah. Uh, $1.48, I got the white one. They've got a bunch of different other colors. Free shipping, woohoo! So this allows you to use a USB-C industry standard, standard everywhere device with um, accessories that only support the proprietary bullshit iOS uh, lightning connector. Yeah, and the reason I got this is um, back when I ordered it, I was watching uh, one of Julian Eilert's videos and he ordered uh, an accessory that came with uh, with the Apple connector on it. And of course, uh, like a sane person, he uses uh, Android devices, which use the global standard type C. So he was kind of uh, stuck for a while uh, with a device that he couldn't use. So I decided that I didn't want to end up in that kind of a predicament by accidentally ordering the wrong thing. So I got me an adapter. I like that. Moving right along, we have, we have, we have strip underscore two. Okay. Hope it's not. Huh? Another thing that was inspired by another YouTuber. These are UVA and UVC test cards. These are printed with different kinds of uh, photoactive inks that react to UVA and UVC to show you when these things are being exposed to it. And I got way too many of them because they're not one-time use items. Um, I'm guessing that I tried to order two and I instead ordered two packs of them. Oops. Anyway, Big Clive first uh, showed these off on YouTube, or at least that's where I saw them. 
and they seem like a reasonable thing to have for testing devices that claim to be UVA or UVC. UVA being closer to the blacklight UV and UVC being the one that actually does sterilization that is much less common in devices even though the uh, dubious devices always pretend that they have the sterilizing UVC. 24 pieces UVC, UVA test strips, indicator cards, UV test cards. Hmm, okay, so I just, I guess I must have just ordered from a random seller. I don't know why I'm, what I'm going to do with 24 of them, but whatever. Um, these cost me 11.62 Canadian with free shipping. I have to assume that there are some others that are cheaper. I'm not sure why I ordered such a big package of them. Whatever. I'm sure I'll use them for something at some point. They claim to be a professional product to test UV. Right. Made out of PVC. Put them into the, te into the testing environment and wait a few seconds. It will resume normal color immediately if you move it away from the light. Oh, okay. Fit for common UV and UVC devices, sterilizer wands, UV boxes, UV bags, and other equipment. All right. Next in, we have... Oh, what does this say? It says... Integrated circuit. Okay. I like the sounds of that already. It's a kit. So we have a few good sized capacitors. We have a couple of relays, some LEDs. Um, what are you? You are a photoresistor. And then there's some surface mount. Okay. So we have both surface mount and through hole stuff going on. A couple of potentiometers. So my guess, just based on the components and not remembering what I ordered a couple months ago, is this thing is sensing darkness or light and turning on relays in relation to that, probably. Though I don't know what all the red LEDs do. And whatever it's doing, it's got a couple of ICs on there. Wow. So maybe it's doing something a little bit more fancy than just turning on relays when it gets dark. Or maybe not. The two chips are 555, so there's our timing. And a 4011, which I think is a logic gate of some sort. I guess all we have to do is look at the schematic on the other side to find out. Those are AND gates. Oh, no, NAND gates. they got the little bubble on the end. So NAND gates, but here they're just being used as inverters. Why wouldn't you just use an inverter chip? Uh, anyway, um, the two relays seem to be turning on the bunch of LEDs uh, in two different sets. Okay. Uh, but yeah, there is an LED. There is the resistor, the photoresistor, and a pot in series with it so that it's creating a threshold to trigger this series of inverters, which drives the transistor, drives that relay. And then that drives this transistor, which makes the 555 do things and kicks the relay, the second relay. Okay. We'll have to see what they actually call that kit, because that, I'm not quite sure what that uh, series of events would be. Street Lamp Automatic Energy Saving Control System Experiment Kit Electronic Production Parts DIY Smart Street Lamp Control. Right. Uh, $2.47 with a buck twenty-three shipping. So fairly cheap little kit for what you get in it, I guess. And that is in fact all the components we got. Alright. Does this describe more or less what's going on? Well, there's the same schematic. There is the parts. There is the board. Yeah, yeah. No theory of operation. Okay. Well, I think we, uh, I think we figured it out more or less what it does. Still not quite sure why, but it's, I guess, an interesting demonstration of a few different principles. It should be fun to put together, what with a combination of surface mount and, uh, and through-hole components. And the last thing in came to my mailbox. This came from longtime viewer, longtime subscriber, GNU Religion. 
um, all the way from Little Rock, Arkansas. He said he was sending me this. That's how I knew that it was from him. Plus, you know, what I hid there. Um, but he was a little bit cryptic in his email saying exactly what it is. So let's find out. Well, all righty then. So what do we have in here? We have some 3D printed snakes. <laughs> Those are, that's a nice print. Those are well done. These are all print in place models, which means you literally print them. Um, where's the print lines? Just like that. And they come off the bed already linked together and all in one piece. They're cute little toys. <laughs> that's a nice model. And You've got your printer fairly well tuned. I'm not seeing a lot of bridging and gaps and stuff like that. Well done. Now then, we have this USB to pin headers, and I'm assuming that plugs in there. Yes, it does. Or not pin headers, uh, whatever that connector is. Can't remember. So many connectors. Anyway, so that plugs in there, obviously. But before I turn the lights out, as it says, and push the buttons, I'm just going to quickly look at the note. Excuse me. All right, so this thing doesn't have any secrets in the note, so let's just take a quick look here. Just plug into anything that provides a bit of USB and try and turn all the lights out. It's a game. So he goes through a little bit here what's going on. Um, so it's using an AT8085 and a PCF8574, which is a... 8 uh, bit or 8 uh, GPIO expander that just communicates over the SCL and SDA there. So he's not showing me all the push buttons here, which I assume go to this guy. Interesting. Well, let's play the game. Actually, before I do, I will note that this is entirely 3D printed as well. Nice case and a, uh, I don't know, I would describe that as maybe purple but you guys know that i'm colorblind so who knows even the push buttons look like they're 3d printed cool anyway let's power this guy on and see what happens so that turns on one light oh there it goes Ah, <laughs> try and catch it on the fly. Okay. Oops. What's going on here? Ah, <laughs> keeps putting on more LEDs. So apparently the, the name of the game is to turn off all of the lights. without actually knowing how it works. Right. So that is the entire game. Just try and turn out all the lights. Um, what is that? Oh, he called that a belt buckle plug. Okay. Um, how to reprogram it. Sure. I think he sent me a link to the code for this. I'm not sure if I'm at liberty to uh, publish it or not, but yeah, every time it, every time I do it, it actually gets more difficult. Now there's more buttons than I can push by holding it. That could be a fun toy to tinker with and play with. And, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get in touch with him or actually, um, if he wants to publish or uh, put a link to the, to, uh, any information about this down in the uh, comments, I'll pin that. Uh, and if he doesn't, well, then I guess it's just between me and him. Fun little toy nonetheless. And a cool little collection of printed snakes. <laughs> well, that was a fun little mailbag and a good assortment as always. Um, always good to get another kit in stock for when I feel like doing kits. This Apple Lightning-ish I think that's what they call it, connector to USB-C. 
will probably get me out of a jam that I least expect sometime in the future, as long as I don't lose that. Um, these little USB test cards. Why do I keep calling them USB? These UV test cards. Um, I'm looking forward to playing with those a little bit. I picked up a UV sterilization wand at the dollar store the other day, anticipating these things showing up and then probably forgot about them. So I will play with them with that just to see if it's really what it claims to be or not. And yeah, things like that in the future. It's far too many of them, but whatever. And then there's these little current drivers for high power LEDs, dimmable current drivers. Those could be fun to play with in the future too. Just have to, uh, yeah, I like that. And of course to GNU religion. Thank you so much for the, uh, herd pack flock of snakes and the uh, cool little game nicely put together nicely packaged well done bud um and yeah if you feel like uh, commenting anything about this down below please jump in thanks for watching everybody as usually i appreciate that um thanks to my youtube channel members and my patreon supporters for helping me keep the mailbags rolling in and helping keep my beer fridge full of course and Yes, just thanks to everybody who keeps showing up to watch these things. Comments, questions, complaints, whatever, down below in the comment section, as always. I will talk to you later.